We're here in the new version 1.1.6, which adds the gunsmith or the gun store where you can buy guns, you can buy ammo. And it looks really nice and it's a pretty small POI as well, but it's nice and it looks good. And let me walk around here a little bit. You see it's a small building. Of course, if you replace it, you get this really weird uh, stone, I don't know what you call it, stone foundation, wooden building. It's got a staircase up here on the left side or the right side depending on how you look at it and then you can of course you can go into it as well but we'll cover that in a bit it's a new item or contract building that is available in 1.1.6 and it gives you a way to buy guns it gives you a way to buy ammo as well and of course building the gun store is fairly straightforward you go to your mailbox you scroll to the bottom and you hope that you have eight thousand dollars <laughs> things are getting really expensive here so uh, you send off your message and you buy it i'm gonna just drink a little bit here because apparently i'm really thirsty and hungry all right another one okay so now you have the gun store so uh, yeah, this is where you really rob the gold exchange because I don't think I can afford all this continually. But uh, you double click and you get this placement. Let's do this. Guns and ammo with a nice cannon at the top. I wish we could get the cannons uh, maybe later on. Can we? Can we please let us do this? Cannons would be really awesome. But let's go in here as well. And it looks nice. You have a little bit of a trophies, uh, some equipment. Of course, you can't take any of this. And you have Mr. One Legged Ear smoking his pipe. Press E to interact, and this is where you see all the stuff you can buy. You have the ammo, and you have the pistols, and you have the rifles, and you have tons of rifles. This is partially because everyone has multiple configurations. You see the Dragoon 115, you see the Dragoon in brass. You see it in dark, you see it in gold, etc. Different costs, and that's why it's just so many, even if there's just few variants of it. So you can buy them. The price are, I guess, are reasonable. You know, some of these are a bit more expensive. Making them on your own, if you can, of course, is a lot cheaper, I think. But you also have the ammo, so you can buy the ball ammo, and this is all per each. So this is one dollar per each, so uh, it's not necessarily cheap. But if you want a lot of shotgun ammo, it's a 10 for 50. You know, whether you want to spend that is a different issue. But at least it means you can. If you end up having a lot of lot of, uh, lot of, of dollars, a lot of cash, you can just go buy. Now, what I wish that they would put in place would be also to sell. But it says the vendor will not buy any items. And I think that is a pity. Especially when we go around and you kill bandits. Or you go to the mines, you end up with a lot of weapons. And it would be nice to have a place to sell them. Even if it just gives you, let's say, the normal version that you buy costs 200 maybe they give you 50 but still it's a way to get back because you can't even get out the ammo right now so being able to get that back would be nice so buy everything in here nice isn't it and this is the gun store or the gun and ammo and if you look at the back it says there's the practice range of course you can't actually open it which you could and you go like well there's no practice area here but there is, if you go up here on the back, whoop, and you see this is where the cannon is, and of course this is where the practice range is. I just wish that when you shoot, it would actually break the bottles. Maybe let you pay a dollar or something to uh, replenish them. But at least it's a cool little extra thing that you can have up here. And of course it gives you a nice view of the surrounding area as well. So, no harm in that. If I can jump up, yep, I can. Of course, if you have uh, baddies around, you can shoot them from here. Of course, I got my little guard who is kindly patrolling and protecting me. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.